Welcome to your Daily Dose. Today we get to talk about Mary Magdalene and her relationship with Jesus. She has a really cool history with Jesus. So before we start, let's pray. Lord, we thank you for uh, what you're doing with these daily doses and just this, this little nugget of information. So Lord, I would just ask that you would prepare whoever is listening to this and, um, and show them who you are. In Jesus' name, amen. So Mary Magdalene is actually a really cool character. She has a lot of history with Jesus. Um, she was actually healed from demon possession. She also got to walk and talk through Jesus's ministry uh, with the disciples. Uh, she supported Jesus's ministry financially, which means she really did believe in it. And she also got to be at the crucifixion. She was one of the people that was with Jesus's mom through the crucifixion and through most of the torture that was there. She had to actually watch her friend be crucified. She was also at the tomb, uh, the earthquake that happened. And we pick up her story in John 20. Uh, verse 11 says, Mary was standing outside the tomb crying. And as she wept, she stooped in and looked in. She saw two white robed angels, one sitting at the head and the other at the foot of the place where the body of Jesus had been lying. Dear woman, why are you crying? The angels asked her. Because they have taken away my Lord, she replied, and I don't know where they have put him. Cool story about Mary. She's having a conversation with angels. She turned to leave and saw someone standing there. It was Jesus, but she didn't recognize him. And he asks her the same, the very same question that the angels did. Dear woman, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? Now she thought he was the gardener. Sir, she said, now she's panicked. She's frantic. If you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him and I will go to him. And this is where Mary's story takes a turn. Jesus looks at her and says, Mary. Her whole world must have centered, like everything in her body must have gone warm. Her Lord, she has just heard the voice of her savior, the voice of her good shepherd, and he has called her by name. This is the very connection that we are all longing for, that first name basis of who Jesus is, and he is calling to her, Mary. Everything in her world must have centered, and now everything is okay. I think that personal relationship is what we all really want in our lives. So I want to tell you a story. About four years ago, I was in a very broken place in my life. I've been a Christian a long time, except this one specific time in my life four years ago was very, very, very difficult. I had already planned to go to this conference. And so I decided to go anyway, and I'm getting off the bus. I'm in Colorado, I'm getting off the bus, and a woman comes out to greet me and she says, well, we like to hug people in, can I give you a hug? And she wraps her arms around me and I just began to weep. I am broken, I'm pleading with God. What is going on, Lord? Why is this so hard? Where are you in all of this? The next 24 hours uh, out of this four day conference, the first 24 hours were just horrible. It was like a cry fest. Every word that was spoken, every worship song that was played, I was just a disaster. We break for lunch on day one and I end up in my room and I go to my bed, and this is laying on my bed. And I pick it up, and I read it, and it says, Beloved. And I instantly begin to cry. I instantly start weeping. Now, I know that 400 other women have purchased or have been given this 10-cent bracelet, except all the other women don't know is that the name Amy, my name actually means beloved. So now my world is centering just like Mary's and I am holding this little bracelet and God is calling me by name. The fact that he wants to call me by name is a very, very big deal. I wore this bracelet for two years, all the white, it was white all the way around it and now it's all gone. 
And I wore it actually until I actually had it tattooed on my arm because I did not want to forget that he has called me by name. The resurrection brings hope. Jesus brings hope and a connection, even if we don't recognize it like Mary, even if we couldn't see it. And Mary and I both were in our most broken places where Jesus is calling us by name. And I hope that Jesus calls you by name. And I don't know how it's going to be. It might be a 10 cent bracelet. Or it might be like Mary. I don't know. Maybe he already has. But I hope today, as you go about your day, you think about that Jesus wants up to be on a first name basis with you. And that's how the resurrection can bring hope to us for today. So God bless you. Have an incredible day.